This is what many people don't understand. When you drive through the cities, in Westlaco, in Mercedes, La Feria, all the Delta area, you don't understand the kind of damage that this flooding did. Look at those walls. They're infested with mold. This looks like a house that has been abandoned for a while. As you can see, there's a ramp because that ramp is needed for the person that lives here. She needs help. As a community, we cannot move forward and leave those that need us the most behind, especially in a time like this, in a time when she needs it the most. This is right here, around the corner from you guys. She is in dire need of help. And where are our leaders? And now I'm talking to those in charge because now she's faced with living in conditions full of mold in a house where her car broke down, the only car that she had to actually take her to, to appointments. And now that's where she needs to stay, right in a tent. That's not fair. My name is Israel Coronado, and I'm calling out those people that are in elected positions because this is the time to act. That is it. Enough promises, you come out, you ask for a vote. Come on, man, be real. This is the time to lead. She needs your help. Use that position that you have because of her to help her. Signing papers is all right, organizing, better get some of that funding that you have stored for other projects let's funnel it to our people that are really suffering they shut our page down make west lago drain again i guess somebody didn't like it but i'm just madly passionate about this because this is right in our backyard we must not move forward without everybody follow us there's another page coming this is not over. I won't be shut down. The voice of Westlaco won't be shut down and the voice of the people in all of Hidalgo County won't be shut down. Other cities are joining in. We'll see you soon as I keep finding some of these stories and as we come together as a community to help her. See you guys soon.